217 watt panels that are going out. Got the Wind Energy 7 rooftop mounted uh, turbine kit. I got the turbine. It's been freezing here for, I don't know, well over a week every day. Um, we had one day where we had uh, freezing rain and an ice storm that was uh, one degree. Um, this is an Interstate U2200 UTL battery deep cycle. Okay, this is what I recommend that you use. Um, you know, you can spend a lot of money on batteries. Uh, there's all kinds of batteries. There's sealed batteries. There's uh, uh, which are very expensive. Um, you know, these these are basically golf cart batteries. These are not automotive batteries. They're different in that they're a deep cycle battery. Uh, they're specifically made so that they can be depleted heavily and then charged back up. Uh, whereas a regular automotive battery is not deep cycle and it's really just meant to be kept at a pretty high topped off level all the time. So these these batteries are, are made for you know high depletion and then charging back up. A lot of lead in these batteries. Um, anyway, the reason that we recommend golf cart batteries is we don't sell batteries. Uh, if I were selling batteries and I wanted to just make money off people like a lot of the other wind solar people do, um, you know, then I might sell batteries and try to convince you to buy a $200 battery. Um, you know, this battery is 82 bucks. Um, uh, this battery is a commodity battery. Golf cart batteries are a dime a dozen. They're very common. Um, Interstate Battery is a very good, reputable dealer. Uh, they're nationwide. And if this battery were to go bad, you can get Interstate Battery to literally deliver you a new battery and install it for you. There's just more service that comes with this battery. Um, there's a better warranty that comes with this battery. And uh, that's why we recommend the Interstate Battery U2200. Um, you can pick these up anywhere. Um, other sources of batteries, uh, we've had customers use Sam's Club uh, and pick up batteries there. They have golf club bat golf cart batteries. Um, and, uh, you know, any golf cart battery I think is suitable. Uh, but one thing I do know is that you want to be able to add the same battery into a battery bank. Uh, it's important that your batteries be get a, another battery, they may not have the exact same match. The specifics of batteries are voltage, these are 6 volt uh, deep cycle, and uh, I believe these are 220 amp hours. Uh, no, this is a 232 amp hour battery. So, say this 232 amp hour battery, if you go to replace this with a 210 amp hour battery, you know, it's not a good thing. You, you need to maintain the same kind of amp hour, the same spec in your batteries. They need to match. So that's why I recommend using these because, uh, you know, six years from now, you have a battery go out, you're going to be able to get this battery. Uh, who knows what's going to go on six years from now with a lot of other battery manufacturers. Um, or you can pay a real high premium to get a solar type battery. Uh, that's specific to the solar business, trust me, it'd be the same battery with a different sticker on it and they'll sell it to you for twice as much. Uh, anyway, we don't sell batteries that makes the price of the systems go up. Uh, we just uh, tell you which battery to use and recommend them and help you find them. Uh, and we let you get those local source because uh, it saves everybody money. Uh, they're also so heavy to be shipped. It's uh, doesn't make much sense to sell green systems and then uh, create all that pollution uh, hauling a battery across the United States when uh, you have them right there in your local. Okay, here I've got my battery cabinet uh, reinforced in place and uh, I'm starting to uh, assemble the batteries and do the cabling. Usually I'll lay these batteries out like this and space them out and try to get uh, an idea of exact cable lengths because I'm going to have those cables uh, cut exactly for the right length so I've got a really nice clean installation. So I'll lay this thing down like this, uh, figure out what's going where and get ready to cut my cable length specific to the to the length that's needed. Okay, 
see how that works there. That's a nice job. I still got a little bit exposed, but it, that's and, not uh, going anywhere. You know, if you can see how I'm doing that, I'm going to start about here, and uh, then I'm going to slowly wind that back to about two inches. It's got a nice good seal on that and it's very well color coded. Voila. Okay. You've got a right sized um, perfect battery cable, highly conductive, fine stranded welding cable, very pliable, you know, terminal ends are squared to each other, color coded. And it fits the battery perfectly so that uh, there's not, you know, cables bowed up and twisted around or curled around. Uh, you know, it's okay to use um, auto parts store uh, standard battery cables for one system. But if you're going to be an installer doing professional systems, uh, you know, this is the kind of job you want to do right here. Four six volt batteries by jumping the negative to the positive like that you string the voltage together uh, 6 12 18 24 volts now so if you check from this post to that post on the two ends 24 volts so what we'll do is those will go in the bottom shelf then I'm going to create another string like this in the middle shelf and that'll be 24 and 24 and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect those together to create high capacity. So it'll still be 24 volts the way I'll wire it together. But it'll have eight batteries in a bank um, to give me storage. It'll run the residence for a few hours in a power outage. the wind blowing through the turbines uh, and it sounds maybe like a dishwasher or something uh, there's all the yard all the sounds in the yard are uh, are louder than the turbines so you can still hear the birds um, you can hear the leaves rattling in the trees you can hear a car drive by you can hold a conversation you can hear me talking uh, as you can see the wind is coming from the broad side of the roof uh, and this is one of the good things about a rooftop turbine is, is uh, in that case, the wind is actually concentrated uh, over the peak of the roof like it would be a spoiler of a, of a car. Um, so you get a concentration effect of the wind being focused into the turbines up over the roof. And uh, so even though there's not much uh, wind right now today, uh, the turbines are very productive as you can see.